Fourth of July really is a big traditional time that people start the holiday week, and it really initiates summer for, for a number of people. And though we have certain restrictions on capacity, we expect big crowds at our beaches uh, as well as our pools. And danger lurks at every corner, not just with COVID-19, but for safety. And we are here today to remind residents about the dangers of riptides. And you're going to hear a story just two weeks ago how there was a rescue of five people on this beach by a combination of our lifeguards, EMS, and our crews because of the riptide. It is a very dangerous uh, occurrence that you need to be aware of and to be safe. Now, basically, a riptide is the current pulling the swimmer out. And it doesn't matter if you're an Olympic swimmer, a, a younger individual, or a physically fit individual like there are so many behind us uh, that are tremendous swimmer, swimmers. It happens to the best of them. It's happened to me in my life. You get pulled out, and there are protocols and safeguards you have to, to do, go by. Allow it to pull you out. Swim along the shoreline until it eases and you can go back in. If you cannot do that, then let the tide take you out, raise your hand, and let one of our lifeguards come out and assist you. you know, that's what they're there for, to protect you and keep you safe. And as I said, you know, this is a big weekend. Uh, they're gonna be, and you can see it, crowds coming to the beach all day long. These lifeguards are trained to help residents out. And as I said, it was just a few weeks ago that uh, right down the road here, about a half mile, uh, that they had a, a huge save. You know, they make over 2,000 saves a year, our lifeguards. Uh, it's a tremendous amount, and, they, and we are fortunate, and we knock on wood. We've never had a loss uh, during a save, and we hope that continues. And the, the lifeguards, these, these women and men, have been recognized by uh, official organizations uh, of, of basically the great job they have done for decades down here. But uh, as I said, just a couple of weeks ago, um, there was a, uh, five individuals in the water, and they were all pulled out uh, with the rip current. And they signaled, and one of our lifeguards immediately went out uh, to the rescue. Uh, within, I think, uh, a minute or two, they had additional lifeguards that went out to uh, uh, you know, help in the rescue. Uh, EMS showed up, local fire department also showed up, uh, providing any service or any aid that was needed on the beach. And we're happy to report it was a, yet another great successful uh, save here uh, because of this rip. Uh, and again, it's a testament to the, these, these young men and women. And I'm glad to be here with Councilman Dunn, with Supervisor Clavin, uh, to recognize the great work of our lifeguards uh, of saving lives uh, of a family that was caught in a rip current just a couple weeks back. Uh, but not only that specific incident, uh, we should be recognizing our lifeguards daily as they are on the front lines just as many others are during this pandemic. So to all of you uh, who patrol our, our town parks, our town beaches, our town pools, uh, and our proud town of Hempstead lifeguards, I thank you, I salute you, and I wish everyone a happy, healthy 4th of July weekend. You know, I just heard that they had over 200 saves already, and the season just started, and 200 people needed to be have their lives saved already. You guys are doing a great, and gals are doing a great job. I appreciate what you do. We all appreciate what you do. The riptide is something. Get a grip on the rip. I think that's uh, the saying we're going to have. Yep. Get a grip on the rip. Listen to them. You know, be safe. And have a wonderful summer. God bless. You know, our lifeguards are here. We're going to have the signage. We're going to have all these protocols. But it really comes down to the great job these young women and men do on a daily basis. We're lucky to have them. Uh, we appreciate all of their efforts. Uh, they're always putting the, the lives of others uh, in front of their own. And they're not taken for granted here in the town of Hempstead. And it'll be a challenging summer, a different summer. But all working together, we want to make it an enjoyable and a safe summer.